Hey everybody, so we have done a lesson on connectors and conjunctions, which are so important if you're doing your self or IELTS exams. These are so important because a lot of times what we see in sentences is people say and 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 so and so and so. So to avoid those, look at my lesson on conjunctions, which is a general lesson. Type on YouTube, AIDS at Education uh, Conjunctions. You'll see multiple videos actually, but this video I wanted to make only for Selpip because Selpip conjunctions are a different thing. You know, when you're doing task two, when you're doing task one, I'm gonna tell you some things that you can use because these are only for the, the self format, it fits really well. So we're gonna cover different things. We're gonna cover uh, conjunctions, how to just connect two different or three different ideas together. Uh, we're gonna talk about advanced conjunctions. I'm gonna tell you what th those are about. Contradictory words, because they're important too. And finally, concluding words. So there's a range of things we'll discuss today. You wanna stick till the end of this video to make sure you digest everything. So get your pen and paper ready. The first thing we're gonna talk about are conjunctions themselves. Conjunctions, I keep saying this, it means connectors, simply, okay? So the most common ones are and, but, and so, which suck, okay? So don't use them. You wanna use something advanced, because in your case, if you need a nine or more, you need to have advanced conjunctions. But let's start with something that is better than and, okay? Also. So write that down. The first thing you want to do is say also. Also is better than and. And the reason why I want to make sure you know this is because sometimes you use big connectors, which we'll get to, like furthermore, moreover, and so on. So if you say one sentence furthermore, next sentence moreover, it sounds too much. It sounds like it's too formal, too forced. Also is a good medium between uh, furthermore, like a really complex one, and something so simple like and. So furthermore, uh, sorry, also would be a good thing to use if you just wanna place it in the middle of a point, which is not a long point, just a short thing you wanna add, a little thing you wanna add. It's not a whole different point. You don't wanna say moreover. So you can use also there, still better than and, okay? Something a step up of this is what's more. Okay, so there are combinations you can do here. Like if you're becoming negative, you say that, you know, the corruption in this country has been going on for many centuries. What's worse is it's continuing to happen. So when you say what's worse, it's adding something worse, even bad than what we have right now. But if it's not uh, negative and if, if it's just neutral or even something positive, say what's more. Okay, what's more is more neutral and it's something where you can just add a point on to another point. Now, going to the three advanced ones, I'm gonna tell you just three because you have 150 to 200 words for self of task one and two. And again, this whole lesson is based on self of connectors. So you just need two to three. Um, if you do too many, it's gonna look awkward. I've actually had to correct students before when they start using too many. You don't wanna use a connector in every sentence, okay? So let's talk about the first two. Furthermore, moreover. Simple, guys, whenever you start a new sentence, just say furthermore or moreover, okay? So uh, that is gonna create an impression that it's a new point. First of all, it helps with the structure, helps with the flow, the examiner understands that, okay, you're starting a new point uh, and that helps you communicate your idea and keep it organized. At the same time, gives you marks for vocabulary because you use something advanced instead of just saying and. The third connecting word, which is not really a word, is a semicolon. Okay, so the third thing is semicolon. Sometimes instead of connectors, you want to use semicolons for many reasons. Semicolons are used by advanced speakers or writers, so the examiner will give you more marks when they see a semicolon. Semicolon also will help you organize your ideas when you want to break two things uh, and put them in the same sentence. Semicolons will also get rid of all the connector sentence. Connector sentence, it'll be a fresh breath, which you need because a variety also has marks. If you don't know how to use semicolons, I did a video on that. Type on YouTube, AZ Education, punctuation marks, you will see how to use semicolons, very detailed. For now, I'm gonna tell you, semicolon is used when you wanna break a sentence into two parts, okay? So um, I wanna make sure that I teach you guys everything in this lesson, semicolon, as long as it's not too overwhelming, okay? So two things, uh, if I said and, it's, it's okay, but it's very basic. And it's two parts of the sentence that I want to break. Uh, I want to break them down into two different segments, and that's where you can use a semicolon, which is also going to show that you are an advanced writer. 
Uh, in, uh, in terms of, let's go to the contradictory words. We have however, right? Very common. Uh, don't use however, use nonetheless or nevertheless. That's simply all I'm gonna say for the uh, contradictory words. Um, actually, one more. Contrary to this is also a good way to use it. Contrary to this. So instead of however, say nonetheless, nevertheless, and contrary to this. All these words are good and you don't need more because you don't have so many flip flops within 150 to 200 words. So you just need to remember three, keep it simple. Nonetheless, nevertheless, and contrary to this, most likely you would just need to use two in one writing. Uh, yeah, just use two, don't, don't use more than two. There must be something wrong that you're doing if you're flip flopping between topics, if you use too many of the contradictions. Now, uh, we'll get to our best part at the end, okay? Let's talk about now the third thing, which is the concluding words. Concluding words, the most common ones are therefore and hence, and it doesn't get too fancy from there. Therefore and hence are really good ones to use, and you can use them pretty much every time whenever you have a point to sum up or a paragraph to sum up. You can also say to sum it all up, okay? To sum it all up. This is good for the conclusion. It's like really at the very last thing you say. And you can also say based on the aforementioned reasons, okay? That is also good for the conclusion. Okay, so these two last phrases, based on the aforementioned reasons or to sum it all up, only for a conclusion, uh, therefore and hence everywhere, wherever you need to conclude a point. Okay, all right, let's talk about my favorite part, which is something more advanced. So these things that I'm, I'm teaching you, um, I've said things like use a variety, first of all, I've said these are those okay ones like also and what's more, but these are the advanced ones like furthermore and moreover. So you know that you want to use advanced ones more often. Um, so you have a variety, you have uh, advanced ones, but now let's go into super advanced, which would be something like lees. Lees are so uh, less commonly used, which is why I always emphasize in our lessons and to our students how important it is to use lees, okay? Adverbs are least, for example, nicely, quickly, slowly, um, and, and so on, right? So you, you should use as many of those as possible. Um, there's no amount that's enough because the more you use it, you show your variety of vocabulary and examiners honestly don't see lees from students. So we wanna use more of those. Now, if you're doing the conclusion, a good one to use there, therefore and hence, right? Also mix it up with conclusively, conclusively. That is something you can use with therefore or hence, or uh, you can uh, swap in between these, well, among these three. Conclusively is a good one to use for conclusions. Now, when we talk about uh, different situations, for example, there's something surprising. You can say surprisingly, okay? Something which is very obvious. You can say obviously, but a better replacement for obviously is conspicuously. Conspicuously is more fancy. Mainly, uh, if there is a main central point, mainly, I wanna communicate this mainly, this is this uh, scenario. Clearly, once again, if something is really obvious, clearly, and undoubtedly, if something is uh, obvious or very noted and you can tell that this is how things are gonna be, undoubtedly, uh, it's something that is, you know, without a doubt, it's something that's a fact or something that's proven, you say undoubtedly. And uh, these are, you might think that it's more, you know, around clearly, everything is kind of a synonym of that. Yes, it is, because you don't mention, uh, like surprisingly, I'll be surprised if you actually use it. So I just threw that in just in case, but mostly you just communicate your opinions, right? So your opinions are not 100%, sometimes they are, but whenever we say something, we wanna say clearly, obviously, uh, notably, mainly, those are how those are the words you use to start a point and all we do in our writing is have a bunch of points so you can literally use them uh between i would say two to three sentences uh but keep a mixture keep a mixture of adverbs like the lease and the uh concluding sorry, sorry the connectors the conjunctions and the phrases to mix it up with the phrases phrases are more than one word so uh, moreover is a word contrary to this is a phrase okay keep a mixture Keep it fancy and keep a variety and you will get awesome marks. Remember, when I say a variety, include some semicolons, like two semicolons per writing would be excellent, okay? So this should really help you improve your writing mark next time in Southbip and uh, make sure to share this with your friends because people don't know this, right? People go and just write casually. That doesn't work for a nine. So if you need a nine, please subscribe to this channel as well. Please like this video if you found value and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.